Hey guys, it's Mars Tonic. I'm Bilingual Harkist. みなさん、こんにちは。Bilingual Harkist のマサトニックです。Haruki Murakami, book guide short story 58, A Slobo to China. So, in this video, I'd like to talk about Murakami's short story, A Slobo to China. You know, this is a Murakami's first ever written short story. So, if you are、uh, so far not read this book, it's a good chance to、uh, know what, what's Murakami's first story or first short story. So, let's get started. As always, this video is consists of three parts first overview, second story, and third, my favorite things or my favorite point. So, first overview, this story is、uh, contained in the short story collection, The Elephant of Vanishes. Yeah, it's published in 1993, English version. And、uh, like I said, this is a Murakami's first short story. In other words, this work is the debut of Murakami's short story. So, and then this title, A Slow Boat to China. If you are a kind of a jazz fan, maybe you heard of it,、uh, you ring the bell.、Um, the jazz, the,、uh, a very famous tune. Uh, on the slow boat to China is a very famous jazz tune. And as you might know, Murakami is a very, very a, a big fan of jazz music. Actually, he ran his own jazz,、uh, jazz bar when he was、uh, young and before becoming a, a writer or novelist. So, of course, here, Get very familiar with the jazz music. And of course, he knows that on a s t r o b o t to China, and、uh, it must be his, one of his favorite tunes of jazz classic. So, and then according to、uh, from the, the, the title, On a s t r o b o t to China, he imagined what kind of story he, he could write. This is the very beginning of、uh, this short story the,、um, from the title. A slow boat to China, and he lied about it. And then he has a, uh, as uh, you can read, the, his Murakami's first short story. So, what kind of story? Just take a look at it. There's a story about three Chinese, and the narrator, very Murakami like narrator or protagonist,、uh, told his memory of three Chinese of which the narrator had ever met with. And then The first Chinese is、uh, um, back, in, back in the his、uh, or narrator's elementary school days. He is a Chinese teacher. But、um, when I say teacher, the, he, is, he was not a、um, protagonist teacher. But、uh, when, the, when the protagonist or narrator went into some other elementary school, in, in this story, the Chinese a specialized elementary school in Japan. Um, in order to take a kind of a mock exam, a, when in, in Japan, when some, some kind of, how to say, special test, so some kind of、uh, so special test, sometimes that kind of test is taken place、uh, in some, somewhere in, how to say,、uh, in other schools. So、um, it's not a rare case, but the,、um, choosing the, their Chinese schools, I, I think were quite racist, but, but anyway, Narita went into other s c h o o l and that school is a school for Chinese students. And, and then the teacher at there was also Chinese. And then this, that was of、uh, Narita's first encounter with Chinese. And then the, that story is about the, the Chinese teacher. And then the Chinese teachers, the How to say existence on the, the way, of, way of speaking and what he told to、uh, them, including the narrator, is quite memorable. And what kind of,、uh, what kind of things he told about?、Uh, let's uh, take, a,、um, take a book and、uh, please read it. It's very interesting and attractive. And the second Chinese is the、um, Chinese women、um, he met, narrator met. When he was a university student,、uh, they do a kind of a part time job and they, they would meet with each other. And then gradually,、um, how to say,、uh, gradually they, are, they became close. And then、uh, after、uh, finishing the part time job, they, doing, they do a kind of a date and、uh, that, that kind of memory. But that date 
a first stage is really going smoothly, but very ending, some kind of very um, uh, not a usual ending of the first date. So this date episode is also very attractive. So please uh, read it. And the start of Chinese is a quite interesting way uh, that the Chinese guy, actually the narrator's high school date schoolmate, but um, after graduating, they're not seeing with each other. And then when the narrator becoming 28 years old, so which means about 10 years after graduate, um, they met by coincidence, by, by chance. It's just a coincidence. And at first, the narrator couldn't recognize who he was and then gradually talking to, but, but on the other hand, the Chinese classmate uh, immediately recognized who he was, the narrator, uh, who the narrator was. And then they're kind of, how to say, very, uh, um, kind of weird talk to somebody who know as, as a person and somebody who doesn't know as a person, their conversation will take place and gradually, and then it's at some point, the narrator recognizes who he was. Oh, he is their Chinese classmate. He was a Chinese classmate. So, and then that, that kind of episode and then their conversation and it's also quite, how to say, um, interesting story to read. So, and that, that and then those three, um, episode related to Chinese, uh, it, it is spoken or told by narrator. And, and after finishing the third this, this story, uh, quite kind of ending part is, is written. And that ending part is quite, how to say, very poetic and kind of sense of, um, how to say, um, melancholic uh, and the, or melancholic things. I, I, I felt from the expression. And yeah, it's quite very Murakami-like type story. So, and then naturally it's quite get, uh, got a popularity. Uh, this, uh, so many Murakami fans love this story as well, including me, of course. So, and then there are so many things. Uh, I like this book, but I'd like to talk about three things. So my favorite things or my favorite point of this short book, short story. The first one is a sense of irreparable. It's a, uh, I'm not sure this is an um, appropriate expression in English or not, but uh, like I mentioned, um, especially related to this second Chinese, Chinese girl, um, I should not talk about the, um, in detail, uh, what kind, how their uh, narrator and the second Chinese girl's uh, relationship uh, um, related to sense of irreparable, but the, this feeling, um, maybe some so many people experienced when, uh, when the growing, how to say, when, when the stage of growing up, uh, because um, there are a lot of things that in in life in general there are so many things that uh, which we cannot take in the back. So in a way, this sense of irreparable is a kind of uh, very um, quite a, a similar topic, which is related to a, each episode, but especially the second Chinese uh, girl's episode is very uh, filled with this sense of irreparable. And this uh, feeling is so, so melancholic and uh, very Murakami-like, and uh, which means I really like this atmosphere. And second point is invitation to deep reading. This is a quite uh, very uh, book lover's point of view. And then, like I said, there are, there are three episodes there. And the first episode is elementary school days, the second episode is university days, and the third episode is um, that 10 years after high school graduation. So, which means there are so many blank space and then also there are some, some episode which is very metaphorical, met metaphorically written or told. So, which means when you are very a book lover or, yeah, yeah when you're a book lover, you can read very deeply. And then also you can think about deeply um, what's behind each episode um, when in the, in the blank space. Uh, between each episode, what, what kind of story the narrator might have 
And also, the so many episode is uh, what, what kind of metaphor is inside in each episode. You can think about it. This is a quite um, attractive invitation to deep reading. That, that is my favorite, the sec second favorite point. And the third point is ending. I'm not sure um, uh, my idea or my thoughts uh, get a, a consensus or um, agreed with you, but to me, it's really Gatsby-like ending. Gatsby is, means, of course, the great Gatsby. And then, uh, as you might know, the Murakami translated a great Gatsby from English to Japanese. And in Japan, the, the Murakami's version of Gatsby is very, uh, got the, becoming a bestseller. Um, and so uh, to, to the Murakami firm, uh, he, Murakami like Love Gatsby is a quite famous story. But I think the, the that effect in this the uh, last part, especially the last part of the Great Gatsby. The in the Great Gatsby, the last last few paragraphs is there something like this. Uh, Gatsby braving the green light, the august future, the year by year, this is before us. It already eluded us then, but that's no matter. Tomorrow we will run faster, stretch out our arms farther, and one fine morning. So we be torn, both against the current, bow back ceaselessly into the past. This is the ending of the Great Gatsby, very beautiful and melancholic and uh, yeah, very memorable, right? Uh, isn't it? And then the ending of the uh, this the Estrobot to China is something like this. It goes like this. Let loss and destruction come my way. They are nothing to me. I'm not afraid anymore than clean up, clean up better fears inside a fast ball, any more than committed revolutionary fears the guard. If only, if only, oh friends, my friends, China, it's so far away. Of course, it's not, I'd say, got the um, si similarity as, uh, how to say, a words by words, but uh, I'd say to me, at least to me, the uh, sense of, I'd say, Atmosphere or sense of the uh, that word metaphorical um, atmosphere is very sim. I feel very similar, and then maybe the Japanese original text on and also Murakami version Japanese gets the translation quite much more similar, especially to me. The if only, if only the part, and then and one fine morning, um, period, um, period, period, period is. Something uh, I, I feel very similar things about this thing. Uh, maybe it's just my uh, my own idea. But anyway, to me, this ending is quite uh, nice and attractive, um, like Gatsby. Right. Thank you for watching. Uh, the, this is um, the that that's all from my presentation. And thank you for watching again. And I hope this video uh, get our. Um, I'd say, uh, interested in the Murakami's very interesting story. And I hope uh, uh, you find Murakami's novel. And I would appreciate if you subscribe to my channel. And uh, let's see, uh, let's see in the next of my video. Uh, until then, see you, bye.